Good morning, it's Jim in Beaverton, Oregon. So this morning I would like to talk about fish tanks and filtration. So let us uh, start out with these fish tanks. A gentleman by the name of Bob uh, sent me a nice note asking if I put the glass in these tanks and where I got them. And the answer is I did not. I bought the tanks just like they are. And they come from a company called Kenter, which is the biggest supplier of uh, aquaponics and uh, aquaculture equipment in the world. And this, these are the smallest commercial size tanks they make. Uh, they would be used for growing out baby tilapia or something like that in the hatchery. Uh, they're made out of fiberglass, they're wonderful tanks. Uh, the fiberglass makes it very easy to put fittings through uh, tank fittings in and, and through the bottom also. Uh, they're also tough enough that I routinely get up and walk around on them, which you can't do on any other kind of tank. Uh, just briefly on the other side, on the other side we have uh, the grow beds are also uh, Pentair fiberglass tanks. They're uh, marked 45 down. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but the same kind of deal. Uh, you can drill holes in the bottom of them for uh, valves. And uh, anyhow, the the just for your information, if you had to buy these tanks, they both sets of tanks, the grow beds and the other tanks, are about $2,500 total, plus shipping, which could be terrible depending on where you are. Really good if you happen to be in Florida. Uh, so anyhow, let's get on to the... Well, before we do that, let's see if we can get some guys to come out and eat for me. Oh, don't tell me they're not coming out. <laughs> One time I got no fish. I was like, oh, never do that. I don't know what's going on with my... I'm talking real quiet. Excuse me. I know I have the pumps on. I'm trying to keep uh, going. There's some big ones. These are bluegill. This is what the bluegill hotel is named after. Come on, guys. And these are pumpkin seeds, but I've been messing in their tank and they won't come out. There's one. Oh, there we go. These are a little bit smaller than bluegill. I think they'd be really good for anybody who had a small aquaponics system. Anyhow, let's go on to the filter system. Uh, the reason I got interested in aquaponics in the first place is because I have a background in fish tanks. I have them in the, ta in the house now. Uh, I have two ADA... Uh, rimless fish tanks in the house and they both have canister filters on them which are really good quality filters but the, the filters have a media very similar to this expanded clay but each one of the filters holds that much the filters I have here for this aquaponics system between the four of them hold 600 times that much so you can do the math, and that's what makes this system great, is these are nothing but big filters for your fish tanks, the best filter you could possibly get. They all have, uh, you can see the water never quits flowing in these filters. And when they fill up to uh, within about an inch of the top, this bell scythe, and the one we saw just go up in a minute ago, will fill up and it'll drain the whole system in about less than a minute and then and then start over again but all the time they're doing that they have little beasts in there that are uh, working their magic so I can give a real brief brief explanation of uh, what is called the everyone is it called a nitrogen cycle so basically your fish uh, give out ammonia, most of it through their gills, excrement too, but ammonia is what 
comes out mostly. And ammonia is poison to anybody, to fish, to everybody, except there's a certain kind of bacteria that's living here and there and everywhere that eats ammonia. What a wonderful thing. So that's the whole thing in life is to eat ammonia, and that's what we're doing here. The problem is, when it eats the ammonia, it gives off this stuff called nitrite with an I, which is also poison. Chad, what do you know? So that's also a deadly poison to fish and to a lot of stuff. But there's another bacteria that also lives everywhere here that eats that, and it gives off nitrate. And nitrate can be used by the plants. So that's what the system is about, is the plants are using the nitrate that you have converted from the ammonia that the fish give off. So uh, if I'm a total amateur at this, so maybe you shouldn't believe me, but go read about it somewhere else. Uh, so anyhow, after I've slaughtered that one, let me go on. And finally, when you start doing this and getting into it, it would really be good for you to get one of these. This is an APA. API, excuse me, master test kit, freshwater test kit. Uh, they're all over the internet for low twenty dollars. It'll tell you a whole bunch of things. It's very uh, user friendly. Just get it out, be brave, and it says on the bottle everything you need to know. One day I'll do one and we'll do some testing. But uh, from that you can tell if the bacteria that are eating things and making everything how it should be are doing what they should do. Uh, plus some other things. So this is the tip of the day. Get yourself a test kit. I'll see you next week.